Why, hello guys. Welcome to this week's episode of Genshin Impact Basically Blind Playthrough, part 14. And today, we are over here because I was doing some stuff. But you know what? Because you guys are probably going to be curious, I'm going to show you that stuff. I'm going to show you a little clip of that stuff right now. Um, it's on the screen right now. And it's actually going to be really cool, and I'm going to post it, I'm going to post how to get it on my shorts video. Because I know people want that free loot. You know, that 100% exploration, you know, of wherever this place is. Hello, sir. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Oh my gosh, is he talking trash about Venti? I'm going to smack you across the face. <coughs> Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Say that to child, but okay. Mingguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see you, man. Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. The what jade? I'll take them all, boss. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Does he have a rat tail? <laughs> I went whole last week's video thinking he had short hair. Unlike... Cough, cough, D. Luke, cough, cough, Kaya, cough, cough, many other male characters in this game, cough, cough, cough. Anyway. Dr. Lucas Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. Okay, someone go get Amber. Look, it's a soup. There's still soup in here. These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. Well, it's our lab now. This soup looks like it could be used Whoa. as our hydroelemental uh -huh. protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. Oh, that's what they mean. We're going to basically boil them. We're going to make some rice cakes. Oh, We're don't... ready to go. Paimon oh, will help oh, remember cakes. which one of the three is which. Oh, no, dang it. Now I want rice. I want stir fry rice cakes. I want rice cakes now. Um, Use pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Okay. Paimon, you put you it. Paimon, you pay close attention. Uh, come on, Amber. Okay. You pay close attention, Paimon, because you can fly and you're already looking at it anyway. Leave it to me. Cool. Uh, we're just gonna boop, and we'll shoot it, and we'll shoot it. Uh, anything happening? Whoa! That light came from the first Noctilucus oh, Jade. Oh What the heck? What the heck? Charlie Charles are what surrounding us again. The were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors. Let's oh, take care of them and continue again after. Jade, wasn't it? I'd it assume was so. so. Much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Okay. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some jade, shall we? You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? The third one. The third exactly. one. Exactly. That's the one Paimon remembers too. Exactly. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Yay! 
then we'll Hello. Put Dr. Lucas Jade in place. That's a we lot can of leave jade. the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, oh, no. as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Come, child. Give us the moral we Guess desire. we can't do anything else. Also, is this why we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. Oh, I have yeah. already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Huh, golden house? the Golden House. The only mint in Liyue, which is to say the only oh, mint in that. All the oh. mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Oh. Well, that's a bit problematic. They only have one mint in this whole entire universe. I mean, world. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? The perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? We're gonna get some Sunsetia perfume. No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Um, lower? Okay. Are they in the water? Oh! Well, I never knew this existed. Balage. Hey, boss! Do you sell silk flowers here? I'd assume he silk would. Silk flowers? We certainly do! Oh, boy. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The good kind, kind. Mm, the yes. Best kind? There's the good ones, and the best ones, and then there's the crap ones that no one likes. And that's why we keep them. Ugh, you ignorant no shoppers. Them. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. There's just Golden House Maiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. Those are really dramatic names for flowers. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must oh, be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Servants, sir? <laughs> this is what I get for calling Paimon emergency food. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. <laughs> so, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Again? I'm gonna buy your whole stock and give you a How whole 13 this? bucks, man. When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. Oh. Um. Well, I mean, that's not how I chose my bird, Tweety. But this silk uh, flower oh, okay. purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states oh. that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Um, sorry to break it to you, but like several I think other he's a tedious bit dead. and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> Do you have any mora on you? Oh yeah, I forgot. We didn't get the funds from Child. I forgot about that. Uh, I do happen to have a few to million more. Again? So yes. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Oh heck yeah. Are you serious? Why okay. wouldn't I be? 
I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, Ooh. they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. Oh. So much folklore well, here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. <laughs> okay. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lan! She's master of the Liyue Branch, right? Actually, I think this would be a perfect place. Shut up. A perfect place to stop and just end the episode here because this is going to be a lot to edit. So actually, make sure you pay your video fee and make sure to like and subscribe because that would really help a lot. Um, make sure you share this series with all your, your friends and all your loved ones because they would love they would totally love to see my content, totally. Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!